Hey everybody, it's not Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to make Armenian meatball soup. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so I'll be doing this recipe based on 500 grams of lamb mince. Now you can use beef mince if you prefer, or even chicken mince. So let's set that aside for now. We're going to bring across one brown onion. Just slice through the middle. And all we're going to do is dice one half. And we're going to add this straight to our mince. Now with our other half, we'll also dice that. And we're going to keep this separate for our actual soup component. Next, I'm just going to bring across half a bunch of fresh parsley. We're going to take all the leaves off. Now you can leave some of the stem on, there's nothing wrong with that. And all we're going to do is finally chop up our parsley. And all we're going to do is add our parsley to our mince as well. Now we'll season our mince with half a tablespoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of sweet paprika. Next we'll add about two crushed garlic cloves. And finally we'll add about two tablespoons of long grain rice. Now this is raw rice, not cooked. All we're going to do now is just mix this all together and get it well combined. So guys, what we're going to do next is roll these up into little meatballs. So we'll grab about two fingers worth of our mixture like that. Just in our hands, just roll it into little meatballs. So don't make them too big or else it will be unappetizing. Alright, so our meatballs are all ready now as you can see. So what we're going to do now is move on to our stove and start to put this all together. Alright, so just into a pot on a medium heat, we'll stop by adding in about two tablespoons of oil. And we'll add our onions straight in. And all we're going to do is fry it on a medium heat until they're soft and brown. Next we'll add in one crushed garlic clove. And at this point we're going to lower our heat. And we'll add in two tablespoons of butter. One 400 gram can of diced tomatoes. One teaspoon of dried mint. And we'll top this up with eight cups of beef stock. If you prefer, you can use chicken stock. And we'll add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. So we'll just mix everything together and get it nice and dissolved. At this point we're going to add in half a cup of long grain rice, just straight in and that's raw rice. And all we want to do is bring this to the boil. Alright guys, so next just into a frying pan on a medium to high heat, we'll add in one tablespoon of oil. And all we're going to do is add our meatballs in. And all we're going to do is saute these until they're brown all around. Now this step is very important when you're making soup. A lot of people just throw the meatballs straight into the broth. I would always recommend against that. Alright, so that's looking good now, it's brown all over, so we're going to turn the heat off and just let them rest there in the pan. Alright guys, so once this reaches the boil, we're going to turn it to a medium heat and carefully add our meatballs straight in. Just like so. And all we want to do is simmer these for around 15 to 20 minutes. Basically we want the rice to be completely cooked, the meatballs to be cooked and our sauce should have thickened up just a little bit. Alright, so we're at the half an hour mark. As you can see, our rice has cooked all the way through, and so have our meatballs, which is what we want. And our soup has thickened up a bit, which is good. So we'll turn the heat off, and let's go ahead and serve this. Alright, and there we have it. Now if you want to give it a bit of sourness, just get one quarter of a lemon, and we just want to squeeze the juice in. 
and that's all there is to it. So guys, serve it immediately, but you can of course reheat this. I hope you like that guys, please like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.